All right, let's jump right in. We don't need HTML tags or pretty much anything else. We just need to set our width, height, position, and that is it for our style tag onto JavaScript. So this is going to be our snake. And then, nice handy little shortcut, direction, math.py, it's going to be in radians, our food, and one more shortcut. So first we need our imp inputs. So we're going to check if the key is D, and if it is, we turn math.py over 2, it's 90 degrees, otherwise, any other key, we turn the opposite direction. Now we need our game loop. using that ES6 notation again. So this is going to be our HTML string. Just going to use an image tag. doesn't need a closing tag, which saves us some time. It also has a border, so we'll be able to see it. And this is going to be our first food. And just need two things, top and left. So that's X and Y. Don't even need the final semicolon. So next we have to add our snake into it. Adding this to the array. So then we add, to get in the direction, we add the cosine of the direction. And we multiply by our scale, which is going to be 5, 5 VH, and so on. And then we take the modulo. First we have to add 100. So this keeps it from falling off the screen. And then we add in the Y, which is almost the same. Except we have to take the sign, and then we need a loop to loop through the snake. And we go by 2 to get that X and Y. So here we're just adding it straight onto that same HTML string. So it's pretty much the same code as the food. And then we just go with i plus 1. That looks pretty good. Now we have to check for collision with itself and we're not checking the head so we first check to see if i is greater than 0 which is one way of doing this. And we're doing a circular collision here. So, pretty simple. Just going to square this, the old Pythagorean, more or less. And we don't need to square root this like you did in your math class. We don't need to know that. Just need to know if it's less than 25. It's 5 times 5 minus 1. Gives us a little padding for those weird float rounding in JavaScript. Let's tighten that up a little bit. Then we have to check food collision. So 
square that. So that's almost the same as before, except this time we're going to check and see if it's less than 26, give us a little padding for near misses. And if it is, we set a new food. Multiplying by 95 to keep it on the screen. Otherwise, we have to cut away the end of the tail to keep it the same size. And finally, we have to publish it to the screen. And set our FPS. Let's make it 15. And that is all it takes. And let's see if it works. Moment of truth. One mistake. Line 8. Looks like we're missing a parentheses here. Let's try that again. I think we might have our... Oh! Something wrong with the snake collision. It looks like there's a random 2 plus. Oh! That's supposed to be there. And fire again. I think we've got it. Only one last thing to test, and that is collision with itself. Let's try it. And it looks like it works. And there you have it. A snake game and 11 lines of code. Thank you all for watching. I don't recommend this style of coding for anyone, but it sure was fun. And if you have any ideas on how to cut it down to 10 lines, please leave a comment.